It's a few old faces in new places. After playing as UH's primary running back last year, Damian Memorial graduate Kealoha Pilares will line up as a slot back receiver. And on the offensive line, senior lineman Keith Asun moves from tackle to guard. Both welcome the new challenges each position brings. It's a learning process out there, so I'm just taking it step by step and just um, asking questions, you know, to coach and your guys out there just to make the transition. It's a different look, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got more responsibility. Pretty much got to listen to your guard and now I'm in that spot. You got to, like, be alert, you know, and be aware of what's going on because you don't know where they're coming from, so that's the fun part. I learned little things every day, so that's really good, you know, about guard. Spring football's on. We had, a, we had a good practice today. There was a lot of collisions, both sides of the ball. I thought the offense made some good plays, and the defensive front and the backers uh, secondary were, were running around and sparking things up. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Day five of spring practice for the UH football team this morning. Just their second session with shoulder pads. Now, it's a little more hitting than the team's been used to for the past nine seasons, but it's welcome. Being out here in the morning and hearing the crunching of the shoulder pads and the, and the helmets hitting together, I mean, is that just music to your ears? Oh, yeah, it, it brings me back to uh, football season again. <laughs> playing football without pads is like playing tennis without a racket. You know, that is your sport. You know, and um, so it's about contact with football, so you always enjoy finally getting those pads on and, and going out there and uh, running around. This is like our mini football season, a, a time when we can all come together to the game that we all love to play. It's been fun. You know, we're not allowed to full-on tackle people yet, but I solidly managed to get a few tackles in these last few days. Of course, Solly is middle linebacker Solomon Elamimian. As far as development, defense is ahead of the offense right now. But head coach Greg McMacken says it's mainly because the guys in green have been bringing it. We blitz today, and, uh, you know, our, our guys are pretty good blitzers, and, and it's the first time we blitzed. And, uh, you know, I thought the quarterbacks handled it pretty well. It, it's tough out there. You know, they really bring it, and, but, you know, we just got to learn from, from everything, you know, and hopefully grow. We're throwing a lot at them, and, and they're picking things up, so it's good on both sides of the ball. Receiver Malcolm Lane left practice early today after tweaking his right ankle. Warriors back at it tomorrow morning at 7. There's a scrimmage planned for Saturday. As the UH football team continues to milk its 15 days of spring practice today, Coach Greg McMacken stepped it up a notch, asking his defense to get more aggressive. And while there's officially no tackling, it's getting harder and harder to hold back. Oh, yeah, it's real, it's real difficult. When you got shoulder pads on, you have them on for a reason. So we, we try to use them as much as we can. The second day of full gear came under cloudy skies in Manoa this morning. Today, the pressure was on the offense with Coach McMacken calling for the blitz. The Hawaii's D came very close. We probably should pencil in a couple of sacks. Because the defense is so far ahead, many of the Warriors are treating this spring session like fall camp. It almost feels like we're, we're getting ready for a game, like there's a game this Saturday, but uh, that's the kind of mentality you have when it's blitz. I mean, coach, when coach gets us ready for blitz, he tells us that this is the period. Uh, if you're holding off for anything, don't hold off for this one. Definitely it was a lot tougher for us, you know, um, with the line coming up, you know, all up in our faces and making things a lot more difficult. But, um, you know, I think it'll be good for us in the long run, you know. Well, we have to play fast, and that's what we teach is in blitzing, to play fast and tight. What could be a minor injury worth noting today? Malcolm Lane was carted off the field. The wide receiver reportedly sprained his ankle. Good news is after it was iced down, there was hardly any swelling. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. Seeing a prep receiver from St. Louis transition into a prominent pass catcher for the UH Warrior football program is nothing we haven't seen before. Craig Stutzman, Gerald Welch, and Jason Rivers would be a few of the most recent cases. And this upcoming season, much is expected from Aaron Bain, a St. Louis graduate who stands at a five foot nine and who is in line for a starting position. Not that he's taking anything for granted. Every day we got to prove ourselves. Every day is a competition. The coaches review us every day. Like, just because we're out here, no matter how long we've been here, like three years, two years, if you're like a walk on right now, doesn't mean just because like the, we're a veteran, don't mean we can slack like at all. So I think that like just because we're trying to compete, everybody has to push themselves every single play. 
Considering the starting receiving core hasn't changed much the past few seasons, experience is relative. Bain has 17 catches for 230 yards and three scores in his three-year Hawaii career. And with all four receiver positions ultimately up for grabs, Bain, known as Yoda among some of his teammates because of his diminutive stature, is hoping to be one of the guys called upon to help in the replenishing process for an offense reworking itself. I don't know. I take it personal too because it's like it's making a statement towards us, just trying to give us a challenge. It's making us step up to the plate as a whole offense because everybody's hyping up the defense, saying that they're probably going to hold up the team. But you know, we got to pull our pull our part of the share too. You know what I mean? We work so hard. Like a lot of people don't see us like working around the weight room and all of that. But like people don't see you like behind the scenes what we're doing out here and in the office, like watching videos and like out here on the field and all that. Bain and the boys continue spring drills tomorrow morning.